When you request a trial or purchase Revolution, you will receive an email containing your authorization ID, account ID, and customer ID. The download link to the Revolution installer, some resources such as the admin guide to help get you started, and some tutorial videos. If you're using Synapse's Revolution Virtual Appliance, you will need to begin by provisioning your virtual appliance and then importing the Revolution license file onto the VM server. This file is provided as an attachment in the licensing email sent by Synapse Sales. To begin the installation process on a VM, launch the Revolution installer, click through the setup screens until you reach the license check screen. This is where you will need to choose the license file by clicking Browse and selecting the file saved on your VM server. Next, enter your account ID and authorization ID found in the license email referenced earlier. Skip to section 3 of this video for specific information on the remaining installation screens, which follow the same process whether installing Revolution on a VM or on your own server. Start by downloading the installer and bringing up the user guide to look at the system requirements to verify that your version of Windows, the amount of memory, and disk space meets the minimum requirements to install Revolution. Once Revolution has downloaded, you can launch the installer and begin the installation process. The installation process installs several packages required by Revolution, such as .NET Framework, SQL Server, and IIS. This may take some period of time to complete. Once those are complete, you will see a prompt to continue forward. When you click to the next screen, you will see the end user license agreement. After that, you will be prompted for the account ID and authorization ID found in the license email referenced earlier in this video. Enter these credentials and then click next to continue. The following page allows you to set custom passwords for your SQL Server write and read permissions and for your website system administrator settings. The administrator login does not have to be admin. You can set the name to whatever you would like. Please write down all passwords and usernames for future reference. Once you have completed the step, the download of Revolution itself will begin. Click the Install button to start the process. This may take some time to complete. When the installation is complete, you will see this Finish screen. Click Finish. You will be asked to restart the computer, and after your computer restarts, Revolution should be up and running. If you are following along to learn how to install Revolution on a virtual appliance, we recommend downloading the latest version of the Revolution executable file by clicking the link found in the licensing email sent by Synapse Sales. Run the executable to update your server to the latest version.